Uh, so welcome to another short little Ben and John do cars clip. This is the full interview we had with uh, the really nice chap. I can't remember in the heat of the moment what his name was. I'm really sorry. From David Brown talking about the uh, reimagined Mini they've just released. It was amazing, really nice guy. Check out the full interview. In the description below, we'll put a link to the full vlog we did for the London Motor Show, so check that out as well. Loads of cool stuff on there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we, can we talk about the Mini for a second then? Yeah, this Because that's blown my mind, but this is really intriguing. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, what, how do you, how do you make it then? We actually, we start with a, a Dorna Mini. Okay. So we start with the original Dorna Mini. So it is technically a yeah. restored Mini. It's a restored Mini, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, we then effectively dispose of most of that Mini, <laughs> yeah. uh, other than the engine and the gearbox. Okay. Which we restore, refurbish and retune. So the, the, the drivetrain is carryover from the original Dorna car. And we can put that into various states of tune. So the yeah. Cafe Racer car that you see here, it's tuned to 75 brake horsepower. Yeah. We can take it up to 95 brake horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think that the original Mini was a 60 brake horsepower car, yeah. it's a 50% power upgrade. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, so, so that's it. We, that... we then take a body shell from a company called British Motor Heritage in yeah, Whitney, yeah. who build uh, the body shells under license. Yeah. Uh, we then do an awful lot of engineering work behind that because they build the body shells using the original Austin Rover jigs. Which, yeah. have, which have done a lot of work over the years, so they're not quite, <laughs> as, quite as accurate as they perhaps once were. Mm -hmm. So for example, things like door apertures, we do a lot of work around that to improve shut lines and, and get panel consistency. And then we the, do a lot of panel profiling. Yeah, we well. de-seam the car, so normally on the car you would have a, a yeah, external seam here. Yeah. 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 So we take off that seam, but in addition to that we put a lot of uh, reinforcement behind that area as well. Okay. Because people in the past have de seamed minis, and it's not but what they tend to do is just take the seam off, yeah. and then you end up with two bits of metal joined like that, so which, which isn't great. Yeah, yeah. So we put an awful lot of reinforcement in those two key areas to reinforce the car. Mm -hmm. We reinforce the cross car beam, which sits behind the dashboard as yeah. well, so that gives us a lot of structural rigidity that was never in the original mini. Some details like the the roof rail here, the roof gutter, yeah. on the original Mini that actually was a vertical section yeah, yeah. and it sort of did that when you looked the wire. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted something that was consistent and reflected the panel quality and the fit in terms of what we wanted to achieve as a brand. Um, so we do an awful lot of work before we actually do anything else with the car just to get the body just, yeah, yeah, where yeah. we want it to be. The other key detail that we do completely redesign this rear quarter because yeah. on the original Mini, if you recall, as you said, we had a seam down there and a nasty big plastic rear light cluster yeah. that sat in this area here. Thing, yeah. So that when we get it, there's a big hole in there, so we actually reinstate yeah. the metal into that panel. And actually the first time we did it, we saw this curve and thought, wow, that's actually quite a beautiful mm. line yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I think about it, I think somebody in the 1950s in Morris's drawing office <laughs> has drawn that beautiful curve and then somebody in manufacturing has come along and put a big seam down <laughs> yeah. here and stuck a big plastic box on the back of it and covered the whole thing up. So we, I kind of like to think we've had a bit of um, automotive archaeology with that. We've, yeah, we've, un absolutely. we've uncovered something that's been hidden for 60 years. Yeah, I'd love it. Um, yeah. And then with the real light -like graphic, obviously mirrors the real light -like graphic on speedback. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so in terms of suspension and stuff then, is it... We, we completely retune it. I mean, we use the basic suspension setup, so it's rubber cone suspension. It is rubber but we, cone, yeah, is but it? we but we do completely retune yeah, it, yeah. and we have various states of tune depending on derivatives. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the cafe racer is a slightly softer tune. We do a Monte Carlo derivative, which is 25 limited edition of 25 cars, and that's a little bit firmer in terms of its suspension setup. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we do offer because we have adjustable damping in the car as well. Uh, when the client picks the car up from us at the factory, we can actually do a set of suspension up to their requirements. So, oh, awesome. um, so again, when they come to collect the car, we send them on the text down the road with them and, and set the suspension up to their own requirements. Have, have you found the interest, most of the interest coming from people who already own other Minis? Are they like Mini collectors or is it um, someone who's... I, I, the great thing about the original classic Mini is there's a huge level of emotional buy into that car. Because, I mean, for example, I, I passed my driving test in a Mini. As did I. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had my first car crash in the passenger seat of a Mini. I wasn't driving. So, and there's a lot of guys, I suppose, around my age group who had a, a sort of life affirming experiences in a Mini in yeah, their yeah. youth uh, and really buy into it as a car. And they are of an age now where they can afford to indulge themselves a little bit and yeah, maybe yeah. buy something that's very individual and, and bespoke. And it's really tapping into that market. Awesome. Yeah.
So I think I read some of the price point for this was about 50k. No, no, it starts at 75,000 pounds 75, for the mini classic okay. plus tax. Yeah, yeah. The Cafe Racer that you see here is 80,000 pounds. Right. And then the Monte Carlo inspired car is 82,500 pounds. Okay. okay. Well, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed by both of them. I love them. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks much. Very much. Thank you, really gentlemen. Nice that. to meet you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks very much. Take care.